Hi everyone, it's Tony Richards and welcome to today's Life Focus. We've been having some technical difficulties the last couple days, so hopefully the uh, program won't drop and we'll be able to get through it today. Hope you're doing well. I um, want to talk today for just a few minutes about being intentional. Being intentional. You know, it, it's interesting, I think, as, as we look at uh, the world around us today, we look at what the world might look like going forward, we need to be intentional in things that we're doing. And we need to take advantage of those things that we can control and be intentional to make certain that we are in control as much as possible. You know, when an engineer builds a long bridge, there has to be some type of curve or angle in it so it will not topple over because of the winds and the weather. Airplanes are built to fly and not stay on the ground or, or they will rust out. Ships are built to sail on the seas and not to stay tied to the docks or they will rust out. Automobiles are designed and built for movement and not sit idly in a driveway or a garage or they will rust out. Well, you were built for movement and action and creativity and imagination. How much movement are you giving yourself and your body? If you do not use your God-given ability, then your body will begin to break down and wear out. You see, no matter where you are today, you must understand that you have something inside you that is needed to be shared and action must be taken in order for you and others to go forward. Look at your environment. Look at where you are today. Who or what is helping or hurting you to get ahead? People with best intentions will sometimes hurt us because, and not, not physically, but in words or in action or in gestures, like, oh, you're, you think you're good enough or you're too good for everyone else. You really think you can accomplish that? Or just a, oh. so be careful because people out there sometimes, as I said, with best intentions will delay or ground your opportunity to be intentional and to get something accomplished. If you are one of the smartest ones in your group, perhaps it's time to find a new group to help you move ahead. You know, I can remember as a small child, my uncle taking me outside and saying, look up in the sky, see, see, look at the first star nearest you. Now look at the one furthest from you. Aim for that first star that you're looking at but go beyond that and shoot for the one beyond that, that closest one. Be intentional in what you're doing. Understand that your goals are to get you to this place, but how can I, how can I plan to go even further? Become aggressive in what you do. Become bold. Become a person of action. You know, and I think ways in which we can do that is by developing a plan and working the plan. Sounds easy, hard to do. What do I mean by that? First of the year, we all, not everybody, but a lot of people say, I'm going to lose 10 pounds this year. I'm going to do this this year. I'm going to do this this year. And then two or three days after the first of the year, when you check up with them, how's it going? Oh, well, you know, I've got some time. I, I just let it go for right now. This came up and I wasn't able to do that. That's how we are with our life. We become intentional at the start, but then we back off. Sports teams have to stay intentional, have to keep grinding, have to keep practicing, have to keep pushing forward, have to keep finding that way to get to the end result. They have to be intentional in what they do. A pilot in flying a plane has to be intentional, better be intentional. Tell you what, on every plane that I'm on, I want that pilot to be as intentional as, as possibly he can be, he or she can be. What about you? How intentional are you in your dreams, in your goals, in your destiny, in your direction? Teams, businesses, churches, life truly succeeds when you have a realistic, workable plan. Teams succeed, churches succeed, businesses succeed, families succeed when we have a plan, when we have a plan. You know, the first book I wrote was called Fear Factor, and that stands for Faith Enabling Ability Restored. Be 
Because you see, I want you to become intentional, to take your faith, be intentional in your faith, to have that ability to restore whatever it is that's holding you back to go forward. I really do, because otherwise, you just become an also ran. You become one of those teams that, and one of those people, and one of those groups that are good, but they always just seem to hit the wall and stay there. The life focus, you can be better, you can be stronger, faster, and more successful than you are today. One key is to take stock, develop a plan, work to strengthen yourself every day, become intentional. When you do all this and you become intentional in which way you're going, how you're getting there, what you're going to do, and the people you're going to need to help you get there, you're not going to get there on your own. Don't ever for one second think, I can do this myself. Because the day you do that is the day that you are setting yourself up to fail. You need people, you need resources, but the right ones. Be intentional in who you're letting in to that inner circle to help you. When you do, and you've got it in place, and you're seeing the fruits of your work, you're going forward. Write me at Tony Richards speaking at gmail.com. My website is TonyRichards.net. I'll be uh, uploading this program to YouTube.com under Tony Richards Life Focus. There you'll find this one and others that, uh, that I have. And I want to thank Pastor Norm for the great conversation this morning. Thanks for your support and thanks so much for who you are, my brother. I love you and look forward to, to working with you even more. So everyone, you have yourself a great day, a great evening, wherever you are in the world. Have a great weekend. Be intentional in what you're doing this weekend. Don't just sit idly by. Don't be an also-ran. Be a person that says, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm grabbing it. I'm going forward. We'll see you next week. Take care. God bless. Be intentional. Go forward.